Hey everyone, it's Letty, Let's Touch 41 Loves Crafts, and I'm back to share with you guys um, my project that I've designed it um, for um, Diamond Dice guest design team. Um, so these are the dies that I have used, and I use the uh, the seahorse. Okay, I used this one. Oops. I also used the starfish and I also use the palm tree okay so what I have created was this cute card I love the beach and you know just anything tropical <laughs> so anyhow what I've done here is I um, I'm gonna start with my die cutting I went ahead and I used some DCWV cardstock and this one is my regular um you know green um, cardstock paper but this one is um, somehow that um, I don't know if you can see right here you see that kind of like that um it, it there's some stitching um, you know in there um, I will put the um, if you know I'll try and put all the, um, all the materials that I use down below but um, I went ahead and I did this as a die cut my palm tree and then the uh, seahorse and the um, starfish okay so what I did was I I went ahead and I um, I got my circle um, my circles um, dies again from diamond dies which I forgot to mention um, and I used a piece of acetate so I die cut it I die cut the circle and I use the negative as a um, I think it's the negative you would call um, you know I used the part where the circle is cut off so I placed it there to mask my moon my full moon and then I used um, all the inking that I used here was the uh, the mini distress ink pads by Tim Holtz. So I then went I and then I got the little circle that I cut off and I placed it here on top to um, avoid any kind of inking or you know stamping um on the moon. And then I used my I think I used like two different um, colors to do the sky. And then when I came down here, I simply used uh, a piece of cardstock that I tore up and then another straight one to do the straight line down here and then I just kind of you know masked, masked in there um, with uh, my black suit that I do remember so then I went in here and I used uh, another one of my blue tone um, I th oh, shoot um, I can't remember which color I'm sorry but I think it was one that I used in here um, to do the water and then I did some light coloring to do kind of like you know the moon sunlight you know the moonlight I'm sorry not sunlight but the moonlight into the water so then um, to create some Sun I used that um, DCWV cardstock okay and then I I did the same thing that I did up here for the mountains I did down here for some darker sand where the palm tree sits and then as far as my um my seahorse and and um starfish all i did was i i got some regular cardstock paper from my stash and i simply mixed those with water and then i crumbled them up really good and then i ran them through the machine using my dies and the same thing with the um um with the starfish oh and before I actually um before I actually ran them to the die cutting machine I used some modeling paste by Martha Stewart and then I also used which was the glitter type and then I I mixed um red and orange together and to give me the effect of a little bit of you know um contrast here with the um, orangey red and there was actually more into all the seahorse here I don't know if you could see it but there it's in there I'm sorry if you can't see it but on the right here I'm gonna point out right here you can see it right here you can see it and somewhere right here and on the little one but you can't really see it too much I do apologize but it's in there and then you can see it on on the stars um, like on the left side corner star on this right here in this area 
you can see it um i think it's right here let me pick it back up yeah you can see it right there and then on the on the yellow one so you have an orange yellow and purple seahorse and the same thing goes for the um for the um starfish um and you can see the glitter you see that you can see the glitter in there because i did use like i said the martha stewart um modeling paste that has glitter in it and i picked up that one at michael's a while ago and i think i have like two jars of those but yeah and what i did to this piece of paper here also is i tore some of it and then uh, to kind of blend in the water and the sand where you know the water's coming towards you know shallow you know the shallow of the sand it um you know it shows that um that effect right there and so i just simply used um one of my um, michael's cardstock that i have you know in my stash and then i used some orange um uh, you know cardstock to do as a you know to place as a mat and then the white one I use for, um, the white one is actually, um, one that I pick up at Michael's. I'm no, I'm sorry. I'm not Michael's Walmart. I, I always pick up my white cardstock and I think it's a hundred weight. Um, not a hundred percent, but I'll double check that. And, um, and I always use that cardstock. Um, you know, it's like to do business cards and such. I think it even says that. Um, but that's the kind of cardstock I always use for my cards. So then, um, then I use this um, lighter weight uh, cardstock here, and I simply use one of my Michaels um, Life's a Beach. Uh, it's a square stamp that I picked up at Michaels a while ago, and it's in the dollar fifty section. And it kind of st uh, stamps Life's a uh, Beach. But what I did was after I stamped it, I went ahead and I, you know, the way I cut it. I just simply cut it, you know, using my regular scissors, doing some little waves there. And then I spread it, I went ahead and spread it out um, this way. So um, I hope you all like my project, you guys. Um, again, you know, um, this is, you know, project, my first project for, for Diamond Dyes as a guest design uh, team member. And um, once again, I hope you like it. So... Uh, more details down below, you guys, in the uh, description box. And, um, yeah. So, once again, if you decide that you want to visit um, Diamond Eyes at uh, www.diamondeyes.com, um, use my code, thanks, Letty, and um, you'll save 10% and free shipping when you place an order of $35 or more. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye.